Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you news. Stunning, Catherine rocked the world's eyes in the most elegant and impeccable outfits as fans wow at her style. Whenever she shows up an occasion dressed impeccably, we can't help but gawk. Many of the outfits she wears sell out right away. I'm grateful God for dupes. And she ended up becoming a global star during her reign as the integral part of the royal household. Catherine may be considered one of the most prominent figures in the world of style, but she takes ecological consciousness seriously and often rewears her most stunning clothes. Catherine has gained notoriety over the course of time for wearing the same chic ensemble several times. From the outside, this would not appear to be a major issue, but it reveals everything concerning her sensibilities. The environmental impact of fashion today has grown significantly. In terms of consumption of water, it surpassed all others and now accounts for 20% of all the world's annual waste of water, according to the UNECE. Several famous people, such as Catherine and Jane Fonda, are resorting to wearing the same items over and over again in an effort to combat this. While visiting Cornwall on February the 9th, the Princess of Wales once again sported her beloved chestnut brown Hobbs coat. If you knew her, she's going to probably just put new coats of paint on her old clothes and wear them again. Waiting for Catherine's comeback to the spotlight in around a week or so, we thought you would enjoy seeing how she repurposed her stunning ensembles in this joyful journey of fashion. The Darwin Coat, designed by L.K. Bennett. In a film for her Shaping Us campaign, which emphasizes the significance of early childhood, Middleton donned her trusty brown L.K. Bennett jacket, which she'd retrieved from storage. The princess did, in fact, wear this shearling jacket on many occasions 12 years before, Dean Bennett jacket by Meyer in the color yellow. Catherine was decked out in a yellow L.K. Bennett Meyer blazer. Catherine was seen wearing it twice in 2023 and looked amazing each time. So, it must have been an absolute favorite of hers. The blue blazer from Zara. Catherine's love for Zara and brightly colored blazers is well known. So, this is totally expected. For an October 2023 event in Bisham Abbey National Sports Centre, she rewore the navy blazer she had originally introduced in 2021, which she dressed twice that year. Holland Cooper Black Twill Double Breasted Blazer Followers who were quick to take note saw that Catherine dressed the exact same Holland Cooper Double Breasted Blazer in Black Twill during her September 2023 excursion to the British Naval Air Station in Norfolk the same way that she had done in May 2021 excursion to St. Andrews. Suit by Alexander McQueen in white People observed that Catherine donned the same classic white Alexander McQueen outfit again throughout the last time she travelled to the Rugby World Cup in France at 2023. She had worn it on numerous occasions since the beginning of spring of the 2022 in Jamaica. Dressed by Eponine London the maroon Eponine London coat dress, which actually changes color depending on how it's illuminated, is one of Catherine's fan-favorite pieces that she's been sporting several times recently. She originally wore the custom-made garment to the 2022 holiday party, and now, in September of 2023, she's turning heads once again with it. Catherine Walker Fur Coat Catherine chose to reprise her legendary blue Catherine Walker coat outfit combo from her 2023 Easter Matin ceremony for the occasion in Scotland on the 5th of July. The pink belted dress by Beulah. This beaded pink gown by London designer Beulah was very stunning on the Princess of Wales. On the opposite side of the photograph, she's shown wearing the same outfit to Wimbledon in 2021. On the left side, she donned it again for the inauguration of the Young v &A exhibition in London in June of 2023. Dress with polka dots by Alessandra Rich Catherine donned the same Alessandra Rich ensemble from Wimbledon 2022, complete with the classic blue polka dot gown and fab slingback pumps during her June 2023 visit to Southampton. Alexander McQueen dress in red 
Many individuals didn't notice when Catherine donned the same red outfit to the 2023 Royal Ascot. It appeared to be a rewear. However, the Twitter account, at Royal Fashion Police, saw it. Using the caption, it's a repeat. They posted in tandem photos of Catherine from March when she was wearing the exact same outfit beneath an outerwear item. In March, she attended the St. David's Day celebration while wearing this outfit beneath her McQueen coat. A pink color block dress by Me and M. Among Catherine's many pink dresses, the Me and M pink color block dresses remain a closet mainstay. The garment has its premiere in May of 2021, and she dressed it again in 2023 at the much anticipated Chelsea Flower Festival. Carol Middleton, her mum, has actually donned it to official functions, which represents a fun tidbit. Dressed by Alexander McQueen in pink. The year 2023 will go down in history when Catherine completely dominates the Barbie core fat. The news media went absolutely crazy as soon as she appeared in her pink bubblegum colored Alexander McQueen costume. She'd been seen in the costume before, however. On her June 2022 appointment to the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood Education, she really unveiled this style. Blue Ensemble by Ellie Saab The fan-favorite style of Catherine's featured her 2019 Royal Ascot suit by Ellie Saab, where she accessorized alongside Kiki McDonough studs, a purse by Ellie Saab, and a 2016 Philip Treacy. She even donned the same ensemble once more in 2023. Power Suit in Red by Alexander McQueen This jagged red power suit by Alexander McQueen was Catherine's first public appearance in January 2023 at a pre-BAFTA ceremony. She wore it again for King Charles's coronation ceremony in February of the same year. Black Mulberry Amberley Purse If you've been as fashion-obsessed as we have, then you've probably observed that Catherine has been seen many times sporting this Mulberry Amberley black bag. Through February 2022, she's accessorized a minimum of six times with this purse, and we have no doubt that she'll continue to do so. Dress with houndstooth pattern in black and white from Zara On the 28th of April 2023, Catherine made another appearance at the Aberfan burial landscape, and numerous people noted that she was wearing the same stunning Zara black and white houndstooth pussy bow clothing. Both her 2020 Bradford trip and her 2021 tour of UCL were the first public appearances of this garment. The Denver Green Dress by Amelia Wickstead Shortly after its premiere at Wimbledon on the 10th of July 2021, she wore the same mid-length emerald green Amelia Wickstead Denver dress on the 24th of March in 2022 for the Platinum Jubilee Royal Visit of the Caribbean. Coat for Camels by Massimo Dutti Catherine's stunning Massimo Dutti camel coat has grown into a frequent outerwear choice over the past few years. On the 18th of March 2021, while visiting the Newham Ambulance location, she unveiled the style. According to Catherine's style, she's been seen in the winter coat four additional times since afterwards. Whenever the Princess of Wales wears this bright yellow Roxander Bridget dress, she exudes an irresistible sunny disposition. Upon their arrival in Jamaica to start their Caribbean vacation on the 22nd of March 2022, she made her debut in the outfit. Much less than two months later, at Wimbledon, she donned it once more. A fitted red coat dress by Eponine London Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee Celebration concert was the second time Kate Middleton wore this breathtaking crimson Eponine London fitted coat dress. The first time was in May 2021, during a visit to the National Portrait Gallery. Larson Reese Blazer During her unexpected visit to the Baby Bank on April 24, 2023, Kate wore her beloved Reese Larson Blazer. As many followers noticed, according to Kate Middleton's style, she wore this jacket on a visit to the Disasters Emergency Committee headquarters in April 2022 and a visit to RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire in September 2021. The Cezanne Diner earrings have ocean blue stones that are plated in gold. These elaborate earrings, designed by Cezanne Diner and adorned with gold plating and ocean blue stones, are one of Kate's most recent rewears. On Christmas Day in 2022, she wore them for the first time. On April 20th, on her first visit to Birmingham with Prince William, she wore them again. 
Speculation has claimed that William gave them to her as a Christmas present, but neither has been verified nor refuted the claim. A coat for Catherine Walker in blue. Catherine Walker's cobalt blue coat dress was a hit with Kate Middleton at both the 2023 Easter celebration and the 2022 Commonwealth Day service. L.K. Bennett's Maya yellow blazer coat. Because Kate has worn this yellow L.K. Bennett Maya blazer coat twice in 2023 and looked amazing each time, it has quickly become one of her favorite pieces. Hobbs London Fuchsia Tilda Coat Kate first wore this stunning fuchsia Hobbs London Tilda coat to a November 2021 event at Noah Hill High School in 2023. She wore it again, this time with a different stunning outfit on a visit to Food Chairs Food Bank. She wore it with the infamous 2023 ensemble that included the chain huggy hoop earrings by Aurelia London and pointed court shoes by Emmy London's Josie. One Shoulder Dress by Alexander McQueen you may have noticed that Catherine donned a comparable one-shouldered Alexander McQueen outfit at the 2019 BAFTAs, which is why her 2023 BAFTA outfit could have seemed similar. The Jimmy Choo Celeste handbag and Aquazura heels are just two examples of the numerous times she's donned these pieces, which she donned at the 2021 James Bond debut as well as other such events. The white and red houndstooth coat by Catherine Walker & Co., Around the Wales vs. England rugby tournament at Cardiff's Principality Complex on February 25th, Catherine wore a red and white houndstooth outerwear by Catherine Walker & Co., looking funky and ultra-chic. Catherine actually wore the coat in question on a previous journey to Sweden's capital Stockholm during 2019. Hobbs's Chestnut Brown Coat Frequently borrows Hobbs's Chestnut Brown Overcoat whenever the weather becomes cold. The coat first appeared on Middleton in 2012, at the time that she was just beginning her reign as a royal, and she subsequently worn it on six occasions in public, adding a fur collar in one look and requesting an extended version for this excursion on February the 9th, 2023. The princess reportedly alters the items as well. Holland Cooper Coat Green and Navy Despite Catherine possessing her favorite winter coat, on her latest visit to the Queen Liverpool University Hospital on January 11th, 2023, she wore this turquoise and green Holland Cooper black watch plaid clothing, which she'd been previously donning on three occasions before. In December of 2022, Catherine dressed in it when she planted an oak at Westminster Abbey in commemoration of the deceased Queen Elizabeth. In November 2021, she donned it again in a remembrance video featuring the Royal British Legion of Scouts. Alexandra McQueen Dress in Red Rewearing the same outfit for a second time in 2014 while attending a luncheon for theatrical performance at Buckingham Palace, Catherine first dressed in during a low-key function in 2012. On top of that, she rocked the same jaw-dropping crimson Alexander McQueen gown worn by her at the Anna Freud Center for Family School at Christmas Gala in 2015. Alexander McQueen's Lilac Gown At the 2011 British Academy Film Awards, Kate stunned in a lavender dress by Alexander McQueen. Ten years after that, in 2021, at the Earthshot Honours, she stunned the audience another time in the exact same gown. Fire Red Mulberry Fur Coat One thing that Catherine and Elle Woods have in particular is that they both looked stunning in bright pink clothing. Catherine first sported this fuchsia mulberry coat at the Ground Zero Memorial and Museum in the latter part of 2014. Several months afterwards, she dressed in it once more for the Stephen Lawrence Center, having her locks pulled down in a curly style. In 2018, when attending Coventry Church, she donned it once more. The fact that she'd been pregnant every single time she dressed in this outfit is just one more reason why we like how she's worn it several times. This pregnancy style is just adorable. Jenny Packham's Custom Teal Gown Catherine seems stunning while attending the BOA Olympic performance in her teal custom Jenny Packham outfit at the Summer Olympics of 2012 at the Royal Albert Hall. Her stunning gown and coordinating jewellery were the talk of the town. After that, in 2018, Catherine was wearing the same dress once again, this time with her locks pulled down at the Tusk Conservation Honours in London. The Car Suite by Paul Maroon 
This burgundy Paul Carr two-piece outfit has been sported by Catherine on three separate occasions in public, and each time she looks absolutely stunning. This was her first wear of it, and it was in London's Middle Temple in October 2012, wearing it once more in 2017, adding darker embellishments. The Princess of Wales made her return to the royal sponsor for Action and Kids, almost exactly five years after her initial time. It happened in November of 2018 at the University College London that she sported it last, but had not least, along with matching black jewellery. Alexander McQueen's blue coat Catherine and William appeared absolutely stunning and head over heels during a 2014 Normandy landings anniversary in Aramange, France. According to the magazine British Style, Catherine was wearing the aforementioned blue coat dress by Alexander McQueen subsequently in 2019, when she attended the royal ceremonial naming of the newest polar exploration vessel, the RRS Sir David Attenborough and once more in 2016 at the occasion of the 75th anniversary of RAF Air Cadets London. Stunning two-piece Oscar de la Renta purple As stunning as she is in this stunning Oscar de la Renta two-piece, Catherine really should wear a little more purple. For the 2017 Guild of Healthcare Writers Congress with Heads Together, held at London's Chandos residence, she dressed in it for the initial occasion, paired with black tights along with a handbag. Later that year, she rocked the nearly identical ensemble to the Royal Opera House, although she accessorized matching Rupert Sanderton shoes and the Aspinall faux croc purse. A dress by Eponine London in a retro style. We continue to be completely smitten about this Eponine London look, which is perfect for spring even after all these years. While attending the XLP experiment in 2016, Catherine wore the vintage attire nude heels, as well as an L.K. Bennett purse. It was at the best beginnings benefit that she donned it, accessorized with black, one year afterwards. Why doesn't it seem more buzz regarding this yellow Roxander Ilinchich attire? During her royal visit of Australia in 2014, Catherine donned this breathtaking Roxander sleeveless dress in yellow. She sported it once more during 2016, which was the Wimbledon tournament. Jenny Packham's blush frock Catherine's stunning Jenny Packham outfit makes an appearance once more. The pink attire adorned with Swarovski crystals was her attire for two separate events, one at the Palace of Kensington in 2011 and another at East Anglia's Children's Hospice Facilities in 2016. Dress by Barbara Casasola in white. White is a particular color that Catherine always looks stunning in, since his debut on stage at the 2016 Art Fund Gallery at the Year Gala. This one-of-a-kind Barbara Casola gown has lingered in our thoughts. At the forthcoming gala event of the UK-based organization, Implementation on Addiction, she once more stunned with her signature blown hairstyle. Your time spent viewing this video is much appreciated. For the time being, what are your favorite outfits? We would appreciate your feedback.